This film tells a story of courage, commitment, and creative coping by a person with a life-threatening illness and a lifelong disability. In it, you will meet a remarkable woman named Mickey McGraw, who co-founded a unique art therapy studio in a rehabilitation hospital, the oldest of its kind in the nation, and a model for others here and abroad. One of the things that happens to people when they're facing a trauma or an illness is they get stopped. Their life stops. Their life becomes limited. When you introduce an art experience to them, you open things up. You engage them, and that engagement, even if they're blocked, moves them at a time they couldn't initiate that movement themselves. She never wrote a book because she is the book. You can't control a lot of what happens in your life, but what you can control is the way you respond to it. She has always chosen to respond to what happens in her life, no matter what it is, in a positive way. Active kid, I was very physically active. I loved running. I was in the Junior Olympics and I didn't sit still very much. And so I was a, a pretty active and I had a, a very happy childhood. I was 11 years old when I got polio and I remember um, being sick uh, with what felt like strep throat. And I remember waking up a couple of days later. My mom had put water on the side of the, the table next to my bed. And I went to reach for it and I couldn't, I couldn't get it. I had to sit up to get it. And I remember thinking with not a lot of fear, I wonder if I have polio. And it wasn't really until I was in my teens that I went through that kind of why did this happen to me? Why can't I go out on dates like everybody else? And there was a period of time where that was a difficult time. You know, you had to kind of decide, are you going to sit in the corner? Or are you going to get out of the corner and see what you can do? And that's, I guess, what I chose to do. I worked for a summer out at Highland View Hospital. And on the last day of this summer job where I was doing graphic design in the art and graphics department to get some experience. I met George Streeter, who was then the chief of psychiatry. And he just stopped in and talked to me for about an hour about this idea he had to open an art studio in a hospital for the patients that he worked with. And he was working to convince the administration to just give him a room, which he finally got them to do. What we try to do is create an environment that doesn't look like the rest of the hospital and kind of try and humanize the hospitals. At a time when very, very few people were offering genuinely creative activities, for the most part, it was paint by number, pour clay into molds. Mickey was making art because she was an artist. And to have that in the middle of a rehabilitation hospital was something new. It was an oasis for me. I think for a lot of the patients. In August of 1971, following a, an accident that uh, resulted in both of my legs being amputated below the knee, I became a rehabilitative patient at Highland View Hospital. One of the people that reached out to me is Mickey, and uh, she encouraged me to come up to the art studio, and uh, that really became my salvation. We had the opportunity to work with people who were in the hospital for three months or nine months, and so you could see the positive benefits. Their studio is the first and oldest hospital-based art therapy program for people with medical illnesses and physical disability. The uniqueness is that it has been, from the beginning, jointly supported supported by the community which it serves than by the hospital the, where the service is provided. Keeping the studio open for 43 years or whatever it is right now is really a big deal. Many agencies hang on 10 years and disappear. You have to be stubborn and you have to fight your way through the bureaucracies. Mickey has been a champion to 
develop the program, to sustain the program, to expand the program. This is one of the oldest hospital-based art therapy programs in the country, and that wouldn't have happened without the foresight and the commitment and dedication of people like Mickey and Dr. Streeter. It's opened up a whole new world for me. From, from when I originally got in my accident to now, when you find something you like, you enjoy, do it to your fullest. Yeah. And I found art. And mm -hmm. I've been going with it. Yes, you have.